We wanted to ask you a little bit about Rodri as well. Um, we spoke to him in the summer and he, he, he talked about the security he feels when you're in the team. And Nadam and I were in Switzerland uh, for the Young Boys game a couple of weeks ago and we kind of like focused on Rodri um, throughout the game. And we just we, we were both sort of saying he's, he's operating at a level now where he kind of cruises through games because he's so good, you know, compared to most people. What's it like from your side having him in front of you, what does what feeling does he give you, and that what strength and security does he bring by being in the team? Well, there's a lot of beautiful words I can say, obviously, and very easy ones. But I wouldn't, I would try not to go there because that's just where everyone would go. But obviously, he's the best or one of the best in his position, clearly, um, and. The things he gives you, he, he can be normally number six, I would say, is either two things, either very good with the ball, defensively not that good, and or the opposite. And he's just got the best of both, of both worlds. Plus, he's one of those players as well, no, and since I've been uh, at this club, uh, it's been very clear to me, even though I had kind of an impression, a different impression when I saw him play in Atletico and then when he came here, but then when I came and I was with him every day, it completely changed and what I meant uh, to say was that he's one of those players that whenever the tough times come he's one that stands out and he, he's there for you and maybe what I what he said also about me it's what I have to say about him because he's one of them that when times get rough he's one I know I can have by my side whatever happens he will be there and I think like I said, I can talk about his quality, his vision, his, how much he's improved uh, the player he is today. Like you said, it looks like he cruises through the games because it's so easy. Even though it's never easy, it just makes it look easy. But um, that feeling of you being next to him and you know he'll be there for the fight. And obviously, the, the season is long, but you know that when it matters, he'll be there. Those are the kind of players you you want around you. Perfect answer. Yeah. Perfect answer. This guy's this guy's very well trained, you know. That's exactly <laughs> what to say. We are very lucky to have Rodri, aren't we? You're a yeah huge fan. absolutely, and you know I can watch Rodri and see the stuff that he does, but it's the stuff that he's saying that matters more there because I think when things are going well, everybody gets along, mm -hmm. everything's easy. When things don't go well, is when you need a sense of togetherness and people to be up for the fight. I kind of always say. And especially when someone asks me about a certain player, especially young when they come in through and people like tend to ask, oh, what do you think of him? What do you think? And I, I just think first thing always in my head is, has he been through a tough moment? Has his club, his team been like in a difficult moment? No, then I don't really know him yet. He looks good, yeah. I'm not saying he doesn't, but I don't really know him yet. Because also I was forged myself in a lot of trouble and not a lot of trouble in the sense of um i mean in the sense of obviously i was in one of the best clubs in portugal but when you're talking about titles it's the details and uh sometimes uh, the things with the team it just goes for also with the fans in portugal it was intense and it's never been like a super stable environment you need to be there every day you need to be shot every day if you close your eyes you're gone and i mean it in that sense yeah uh and obviously uh that that's one thing that helps me you see who's who's there or not so we see what you said there from how i interpret it from the outside a lot of people talk about man city and they see you play a game and say of course they're going to win because they're just a better team and so on one of the big reasons why i believe they do win is because they have the fight you know and it's not just a team that plays nice football they can physically dominate you they could outplay you they will compete they'll match whatever you want to give them and the quality goes to that next level when you're seeing the likes of Ruben talking about Rodri in that way, he was a fantastic footballer. Teams don't want to play against you guys just because of the total package. But that doesn't get spoken about enough. But from an inside, that's something that matters the most. Because when you're, well, as you said, when you're struggling, who's with you? Who wants to go that extra yard to try and get yourself to a better place? And as you know, because you have a few of your core heroes who couldn't survive adversity. No. Yeah, I shan't name names. Yeah. But yeah. But also the speed with which we win the ball back when we lose it is another example, isn't it, of, um, you know, we get a lot of praise for our attacking football, but when we lose it, we're the quickest to win it back, aren't we? That's one of Pep's Pep's main principles. Um, in regards to that, so from when I played, I played from 2004 until 2020. I played in England until 2018. Previously, 
defending was not as aggressive as it is today. What's that like when you... In see, terms of what? In terms of, say, if, you're, if the opposition have the ball and your forward is pressing, you'll go with a, an attacker as far as you need to. Like the halfway line is there. It's not the yeah, most yeah. important thing. But when I was playing, the halfway line was like the anchor. Had so many defenders that would never. You would be weird. You yeah. just stand there. If you someone goes, okay, it's fine. I stand here on the halfway line. Did you see football change to become that way, or has that been the way it's always been throughout your career, where you can be more aggressive with? No, I think defense? especially since I came here, and obviously the way we play here, uh, Pep, obviously, he in a way he makes you see things differently. Uh, but also, I think a key factor and the reason why we re we're able to do it is that. And you were saying about the halfway line. So we play against a team that makes us play men v men on the press, on the high pressing, on the goal kick. And they have, if they're very good, they have a position, but then they will float around, you know, and they'll make you like wonder, mm, should I follow or not? But also one key thing for me is that I know that if I'm out of position, first of all, we'll always be kind of all in, in between. But I know that if I'm out of position, I'm going to have three guys behind me that will know how to adjust. The same as if one of them went to go, I would know how to adjust and make you work. So you have that comfort. And also, obviously, we know as well that uh, in this case, see, I'm talking about a men v men, but we know that the ball is going to go into a certain side. And the moment that happens, we all, we immediately make the comfort, the comfort from, from the other side. But... I think it does make a lot of difference to have the right idea from the manager and also the right players to execute it because in the end, I don't want to concede a goal. If I have to take a decision, uh, I will take the decision that makes me the best able not to concede. And so if I'm in a difficult situation and I see, um, for example, uh, I remember against Munich, Bayern Munich last season, uh, so many times I had to jump in the middle I uh, don't remember who it was exactly. Uh, maybe Gnabry, another one. But me doing that, I would expose Nathan 1v1 against Common. So I was always a, a bit in between of, I'll go once the ball is gone, sometimes, because if I feel Nathan is completely exposed, I'm going to be with him. So if the situation requires and we're too late for it, I'm going to have I'm gonna let Gnabry have the ball. And still you know how aggressive we are normally. But in that last moment, I know that I have to protect him first in order to um, then even if we have to drop a bit more and it's normally what, not what we try to, to do. But I'm, I'm, and he knows I'm there for him. But also like when the right, when the moment is right and we've got it, I know I can push and he will know, I will know through him as well that it's the time to do it. But then it's, this is just a specific one and it depends from game to, to game. But to answer your question, Yes, I do think that the way we press today, and not just us, uh, everyone, has changed a lot in terms of, uh, and especially when you play with two teams that really want to play, you know you have to push on the pressing. If not, they will just dominate you. So it, it depends a lot also against uh, on who you're playing with because also if it's a team that just what has these kind of more direct uh, kind of game, then there's also... Um, more likely to be a feeling for that anger yeah, yeah, because sure. that's where the, the goal is going to happen. But it depends a lot on the team.